Sprinter doors are not very friendly to door speakers. I've had these in here for 17 years and because, well, 17 years ago, that's the best I could do. I've had various sheets of plastic glued in here with different kinds of glue. Nothing ever really held. It was certainly never really a speaker box. As you can see, rubber cement glue is uh, not really bonding to the door. So nothing ever really held. The speakers work well, but this other stuff is crap. So I finally got a good solution. I'm gonna share it with you. So the door panel comes off like this. I've already got two speakers in here, so I've got some extra wires to worry about. Uh, you'll have to run speaker wire through here. It'll come out right inside the, the wall there. It's not too hard to get at. Gotta move the weather stripping, the plastic. You'll figure that out, that's not a big deal. But for taking the door off, First, this little triangle up here. Just kind of grab a hold of it, bump it out. We've got three, three pop-in connectors. One of them stayed behind in the door, so we're gonna go ahead and pull that out like that. Slide it back into here. And now that's ready to go back in later. Now, just gonna kind of grab a hold of this piece and wiggle it out. Set that aside. Lift that area up if you've got electric windows. Unplug that. There we go. T30. There's one right here. And the other one's right here. That one came out. Here we go. Two bolts. Take the bottom panel off. Now this will just lift up and away. With it lifted out, we can kind of hang it on the bottom there and access, get the wire off, and back with a little pry tool so that we don't break it on the wire. All okay, right, and this little piece swings out of the way. There we go. Well, it's not swinging so easy anymore. That should be enough that this lifts out. So six by nine project box. Uh, I think it was clean when I got it, but I stood close to it for a minute and it got dirt all over it. Uh, my speakers happen to be five and a half. This will work because it's actually six and a half by nine, uh, six and a quarter by nine and a half, I think. And be careful what you get there. Make sure it's big enough to fit your speaker. And then we have my old speaker. Uh, should I get a new pair of speakers? I'm gonna take the advice of Billy Joel on that one. So we'll set this back somewhere safe. Oh, maybe I should wash that van. Oh, that's better. Okay, now, what was I doing? Six by nine project box, door panel, put them together. All right. I'll do the next one a little bit slower, but don't blink. So we want this to go in there in such a way that we're cutting out this old hole. You don't have to worry about that. Inside the center divider is 90 degrees to the bottom and we can prove that with the lid. Putting that in there like so. And we can see it's perfect. And for scratching plastic, you'll find the back side of the knife works better than the point. You get a good scratch that you can see. So we're going to hold this up right against the corner where I want it and mark this spot right here at the edge of the box. Okay, if I had one more hand, I guess it would be easier, but hey, that's what this is for, right? So we're going to put this in there right where it's going to set. Clamp it, clamp it. You know Jed? I know Jed. Here's our edge. We're gonna line up the straight edge and this is uh, 
once, well, once was a straight edge, but for what we're doing, it's fine. I'm gonna line it up and get it nice and straight with that corner here, all the way down like so. We know that box is six and a quarter inches. Six and a quarter inches. So we're gonna go six and a quarter inches down from there. And right here is the bottom of our line. All right, so that's where it's gonna sit. Now we take this out. Set it right on top of here, like so, and outline the rest of it. Perfect. Down here this curved area and find a drill bit kind of close to that same round. Yeah, kind of like that. And drill these bottom corners. Now, we don't want the center of the hole to be at this intersection. We want the outside edges. So the hole, the round hole stays inside those two lines. that a little bit outside the line there quite nice over here maybe that line's not perfectly straight but that'll be all right it'll look fine reciprocating saw i think is the right way to do this a little uh, jigsaw, saber saw might work well, but uh, I find this works well, works best for me. And a metal cutting blade, so we're not too aggressive on the plastic. Gonna get a nice straight line here. Checking underneath to make sure I'm not hitting that center barrier. Okay, so I did get into the wall a little bit over here, but it's really not going to matter. And I forgot about this support that was behind there to hold the other speaker. <laughs> that would have been easier if I got rid of that first. But now this slides in there like that. We'll cut. Take a bit of sandpaper to the corners. Okay, so now we want to make a hole for our speaker here, and I want to put it forward farther than it was before. So I'm going to put it right here. Um, how you make your hole for your speaker and how big you make it uh, depends on your speaker first, how big you make it. Six inch will fit in this box. I've got five and a half inch speakers. I couldn't find a hole saw in five and a half inch. But this nasty look nasty looking perfectly safe fly cutter yeah perfectly safe it's probably going to cut the hole for me if i don't screw up and send one of these blades through my abdomen all right and since i'm not sure how this is going to work and i'm running a little bit past the limits here trying to get five and a half uh, i'm going to drill into some cardboard and test fire it Yeah, that's pretty scary shit. That's gonna be fun when it hits plastic. Make sure.
sure that's the right size hole for my speaker. So right there is my center mark. Yeah, this looks like a good way to get hurt. There you go, kid. That's using your hit. Oh, ha, 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 ha. Now you're using your head. Yeah, now you're using your head. That's better. I'm gonna say not the best. Not the best at all, no. Not quite what I was looking for, but I think it'll work. Look at that, 100% coverage. And uh, yeah, maybe you can't use any bigger speaker than that. Thank you. Well, it went a lot better the second time. I suppose in hindsight, I might have used a bigger box. Learned from my mistakes. That's why I do it first. Kurt wants to say hi. Hi, buddy. Come here, you. Come on. Let me scratch those ears. Can I get those ears? Can I get those ears?